This is one myth. Trans remittances. We can lower the cost of transferring remittances if we go crypto, go to Bitcoin. Well, maybe in the future with technological advances, maybe they could bring the cost down. Well, the, the cost of using certain forms of Western Union transfers, by the way, are zero right now. How, how can you go lower than zero? I guess you could subsidize it. That's, in fact, what they're going to do in El Salvador. They're, they're going to pay people to actually use Bitcoin. They're going to give everybody $30 to yeah. put it in their wallet yeah. as an incentive to use Bitcoin because no one wants to use it. So, so the taxpayer is going to have to pony up $30 for every Bitcoin wallet that's opened up to entice people to use the thing. Now, what they'll do, by the way, they will spend the $30. Some might speculate and just hold on to the thirty dollars, hoping that it goes up. But they'll they'll spend the thirty dollars in Bitcoin, and that will be the end of it. And then they'll have to subsidize the thing and and, and sweeten it up with another thirty dollars or fifty dollars or a hundred dollars. And where does that come from? It comes from El Salvadorian taxpayers. This is oh. the biggest con job that, that that I've seen, and it's it's amazing that the Bitcoin crowd has conned the president of El Salvador into this. But I think his brothers are on the take, and I think he is. He's getting something out of this. You say, Hanky, why are they doing this? They're pretty much dark forces behind it. It makes no sense unless someone is getting paid. Someone behind the curtain is slipping greenbacks, not Bitcoin, and into President Bukele's pocket and his brother's pockets.